Salute, salute. Next we will talk. We in the building with the pregame before the game the day before. Man, we're gonna get in here and get a popper tonight. Cause Nick's got a matinee tomorrow, man. So we're gonna get in here tonight and get a pop and all that good stuff, man. But listen, man, we lost the game last night, but I'll take a three and one road trip, like my man Jay Dunn said. With a impressive road trip, man. I'm happy about you know what the way it turned out. Three and one, come home right there in the fifth spot, a half a game of, um, behind Orlando. But that's all right. We, we, we take care of that pretty soon. But first and foremost, let me bring my partner in the building. We get a pop and shop. How was good, my brother? Salute to you, Devon. Salute to the chat. Um, It was a good game. Let's get it. That's good. Yeah, real talk, man. Um, you know, keep our heads up, Nick fans. You know, we can't win them all, but we're gonna lose anybody. We went down to the defending champion, fully loaded team, I, I might say. You know what I mean? So they they played scrap hard for 40, 42 minutes. Um, the last six minutes, I guess that maybe the altitude got to them. Doesn't have enough to combat they, all their guys, and um, they, we fell a little short, man. But I'm happy with the situation overall. Um, Nick's had a good road trip, man. You can't ask for the more than that, man. Three and one to come back home and get ready to have a couple of games at home and go back on the tr- road for two games and kind of get back to the garden. So overall, it was a good game, just a little bit too much. I like some of the things I've seen uh, in, in the game overall, but we got we got beaten in a position that we probably do well in, which is rebounding. They out-rebounded the best out as a big team down there last night. They out-rebounded us pretty well, so you got to give them their flowers and everything like that. But um, we lived the fight another day, man. We still got 13 games left in the season. And um, we know it starts tomorrow. So, um, the, um, that 13 game starts tomorrow. We go up against the Brooklyn Nets at the World War Famous Arena. So I'm hoping to be going there tomorrow. Do what we got to do. Get get that win with a bounce back game. Get that win back, and we keep moving from there, man. And um, but it's gonna be interesting, man. This, this is the last 13 games, shot power, and it's about to get tight. Everybody jockeying for position. Um, so we can end up here. We can end up there. But I do believe that this team had to come on that road trip, really telling me that. This is a damn good team. They're gonna be hard to beat as the, as the season go on because I really they showed me a lot on that road trip, man. They showed me the kind of the continuity, the chemistry, the commodity, the togetherness of this team. Like you know, no matter who we don't, we, who we got on that floor, who we don't have on the floor, we're gonna go out there and, and give you out of business like as much as we can. And Jalen Brunson had two forty point master classes there, thirty some point game and a twenty six point game last night. Uh, Duke from Bride played well on the road trip. Hart Stein playing well on the road trip. Um, you can't ask for more than that. I mean, even Albert gave us a good game last night, but just wasn't enough to combat them guys, like I said. But we'll take it, man. Third, three and three and one are happy shot piles, man. And we still get, like I said, 41 and 28. We still got to keep it moving. Yeah, it's, the, it's a fact, man. And, um, you know, we just got to get out there. And, you know, the, the game last night, um, they started off well. They contend. They, they can, uh, you know, they played their best basketball. Second, second half, they, uh, kind of 
caught back up in the rebounding status because they was getting killed in the first in the first half. And um, you know, that's where we lost the game, really rebounding, you know what I mean? And um, it looked like we got tired. It looked like that 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 quote unquote mile high really was uh in full effect uh in that sec in that last quarter, eight minutes or so into the quarter. I mean eight minutes, uh, you know, four or five minutes into the uh, into the fourth quarter. You know, it looked like they start sucking their energy away and stuff like that. But like you said, Divine, uh, live to fight another day. Uh, and like you said in the background, we, it, it easily could have been one and three. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm happy with what happened. Um, the down, the downfall is that uh, Miami moved. Uh, in, I mean, um, Orlando moved in front of us. You know, and that that was one of the bigger one of the bigger reasons why I was hoping that we could win this one. But at any rate, you know what I mean? Um, you know, we got you know, a couple of games that we should be able to uh, bring back those, uh, you know, um, those wins and uh, maybe can get past them if they, uh, you know, they got some easy games coming up, but they do have a couple of stiff competition coming up. And especially like we talked in the background, they're playing someone we just played recently that uh, uh, fell out of grace uh, out of the the playoffs into the play-in. So maybe they might want to get a a win to bounce back and it'd be perfect if uh, they can get the, the, the win against uh, Orlando and we can uh, also get a win against Brooklyn and the next four teams that we play. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yo, salute to everybody in chat. JJ, my man, Fabian, salute to you guys. But yeah, you know what? Um, that's what it's all about, man. We kind of just take care of our business and I think we will. I think we win the next four for sure, man. Like I said, you know, if you're going to lose to anybody, you lose to the best team damn near, in the league damn near right now. Um, So, uh, you know, you did nothing to feel mad about. You got to tip your, tip your cap to these guys the other night. Jokic had a triple double. Um, Jamal Murray had it going. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. had it going. And, oh, that guy. Oh. Yeah, yeah we, we did a lot of good things last night, but, you know, we just couldn't t- contain them Um, in that second half. They went out. They went in the second half, made some good adjustments on the Knicks. And, you know, and we made some good adjustments too, but we kept fighting, man. We got that thing down to two points. And now, oh, my God, I'm like, we right there, you know, and a couple of plays here and there went the other way, a couple of missed shots or a couple of missed rebounds. Um, you know, and, and they, they kind of went went the other way. But like I said, we that that score to me, 113, 113, 100 is kind of misleading because I, I do think we was in that game. A lot of them points that 113 was like like when we pretty much in the last two minutes, you know what I mean, or something like that. So that game was tight all the way through, man. It was back and forth. We kept, we kept getting close, and we just didn't have enough to get over the hump, man. But, um, you know, the guys still play hard. That's all you can ask for. You know, you go out there and play hard, you know, the best you can, and um, made the best team win. The team won last night, which rightfully so in Denver. Knicks haven't won in Denver in so long since uh, it was a year ago or something like that when Jokic didn't even play that game. And that's the one that um, Jalen Brunson did a damn thing, him and Julius Randle. But you know what? We still got a solid team. We can't win them all. So I do get it sometime when when the Knicks lose, you know, the spaces is kind of dead. And plus it's Friday. So, <laughs> you know, but we always glad to be up here talking New York Knicks basketball, man, because that's what it's about, man. Win or lose, we always feel good to talk about Knicks. We got some positive things that, that happened and some negative things. But we I, I seen a lot of positive things out of that thing last night. What I seen in this team is a resilient, don't quit, and uh, don't give up type of basketball team. That, that means a lot to me because we're going to need that same – type of energy when we go to the playoffs that, you know, you might think the Knicks might be down 10 points with five minutes left. Don't worry about that. I don't take long to knock down two threes. You know what I mean? They cut the lead to cut the lead to four. <laughs> so I don't I, know. I, I take, I take that man for what it is, but you know, last night you just got to give them a foul. Joe good and Hartstein played a good game, but and like you said, once that altitude start getting to them and they, they move the ball real well. They, and, and they, they got a lot of side there. DeAndre Jordan coming off the bench and all these guys, but our, our guys play good, and that's all you can ask for, and, and, that, and that's what it all boils down to. So we'll take the 3-1 West Coast swing, be happy with the results, and we live live the fight tomorrow, man. We go up against the Brooklyn Nets tomorrow. Hopefully we go in there, shot powers, and um, just get back back to our winning ways. We've been playing good in the month of March. So, you know, we want we want to close March out strong. And, you know, we only got but like nine nine days left this month that went by so fast. It's crazy. But, um, you know, overall of that, man, I'm I'm, I'm happy with, with, with the results for sure. And I just think we just got to keep it moving and go ahead and get Brooklyn tomorrow. Don't take them for granted and try to keep the cats about the guard tomorrow. Yeah, there was, there was one thing that sitting watching the game I was saying yesterday, and, you know, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm probably not the only one that thought this. Man, I wish we had OG. Man, I wish we had Randall. And, I mean, I didn't even say Mitchell Robinson. I was just saying 
uh, OG Ananobi and Mitchell and and uh, Julius Randle. You know what I mean? Could have changed the you know the you know the posterity of the game, man. But you know, could have, should have, woulda. You know what I mean? Um, I think the last time that we played them, we we had both of those guys and we dominated them. You know, by thirty. So you know, um, we we, we next time we'll see them as if we see them in the finals. You know what I mean? So I think they're 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 primed to um uh uh but. You gotta watch out for them clippers. You said clippers too, right, Divine? Yeah, you gotta watch out for them clippers, man. Them boys is playing some basketball over there. Yeah. But you know, we 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 soon to come, man. In these next 13 games, we will probably see uh Mitchell Robinson come back. I mean, uh, we'll probably see OG may be the first one to drop. Um, and then we may see Mitchell Robinson soon right behind him, and then another couple of games down the road, we'll see Julius Randle come back. You know what I mean? I think we should I, – I, I would hope for us to see Julius Randle with at least uh, six games, I think, now. Mm. Yeah, I, I hope I – hope, I hope he could – oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at this thing upside down. I know I'm high now. Um, I'm hoping to see Mitchell Rob. I mean, uh, Julius Randle to come back. You know, the game at the Miami, you know, uh, the Sacramento game back at home, you mm-hmm. know. So, you know, and I think by then we should have uh, OG back and we should have Mitchell Robinson back. And that game is April 4th. So mm-hmm. I think by April 4th we should have, the, you know, everybody back. I think we'll probably have – by then we'll probably have um, one, two, three, four, five, six – six games or so so six games and i think within those six games i think we'll see og come back and mitchell robinson come back one thing that i like to see today is i was looking around and i seen mitchell robinson made a comment about og Anobi, uh or, or someone asked him a question who would who um the last time he was on the team these players wasn't on the team uh, you know, and he said something to the effect, you know, not ex- not verbatim, but something to the effect of, I can't wait to get back. I, I can't wait to get on the call with OG, and I, OG Ananobi. So I, I can't wait to see it either. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, those two guys are, are very defensive minded guys. And when they get on the court, they can really lock some people down. You know what I mean? And um, there's so many different type of lineups that Tom Thibodeau will be able to play around with. And these next couple of games before the the playoffs start, you know what I mean? And that's why I want these guys to come back as soon as possible so we can find out, all right, these two guys play good together. These three guys play good together. These two guys really are really good. This one, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? So he can figure it out because it's only 13 games, 14, what, 13, 14 games left in the season. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, the quicker – uh. I don't want to. I don't want to rush anybody back. Don't get me wrong by saying rushing anybody back, but I do want people to come back so they can get a little bit more acclimated together. Uh, mm-hmm. OG, OG, and Randall probably won't have that much. Um, uh, you know, they just haven't played together in a couple of months, but they have played together already. They know each other where they're going to be and stuff like that. So they just got to get back on the court together and uh, add Mitch Robinson to that mix. And uh, you know, put that, put everything in that pot, put that you know little bouillon in there, and start stirring it up, and let's get it popping. Let's get it popping real tall, yo. Salute to the chat, man. Jerry, Alberto, Willie, Crude, APAP, Chris Rowe, JJ, everybody. Salute to you guys. Thank y'all for coming in tonight. Um, you know, I'm good, man. I'm good with this thing. I tell you, I'm not too much concerned about. I still think we definitely get the third seed. Um, I just think that's you know, the way it's going down. Even tonight, you know, don't get me wrong, Cavaliers at halftime. Cavaliers in the Timberwolves, 49 or 46 Cavaliers. Let's hope that could change. And at halftime, Pelican got Miami Heat by 4, 40, 46 or 42. Then later on tonight, you got the War- Warriors and the Pacers and and um and at the um and and Warriors are home home court. And you got the Lakers in the 76ers, and you got the um 76ers at the Lakers home court. But tomorrow, you know, like like I said, you got the Knicks and the Nets. Obviously, that could be a win for us. You got the Kings and Kings and the Magic in in um, Orlando, but like I said, the Kings they they eighth right now, so they don't want to fall right. out. They don't want to be right. in that win. So you know they might they they lost their last game. So the Kings might look to go in there and try to win that game tomorrow. And um and, and if the Kings win it, beat beat the Magic, hopefully in the next Knicks beat the Nets, that we flip right back to the to the fourth seed 
and I'm hoping Cleveland lose tonight, and then they'd be 27 losses, and we, you know, so it's still gonna go the way we wanted to go. And then the good thing about that, um, that we got a break here and there. And then Sunday, you got the Cavaliers in Miami. You know what I mean? So, and you got the clip with the 76ers play the Clippers, the Pacers, and um, and LA, um, Bucks and Thunder. That's gonna be a good one. I mean, so, you know, it, it could go a lot of ways, man. We still in this thing for that third seed, man. I really do believe we we will eventually get there. Um, you know, we just got to go out there and take care of our business. But um, like I said, three and one, I can't be mad. Um, and like Shaw Power said, we'll get some soldiers back. I, I can't put a timeline on who coming back. We just only we only guess, man. We hoping they come back at a certain time, but we really don't know. But, you know, like Shaw said, I'm hoping that Mitchell Robinson, he got to get back with maybe nine games left. Just enough to get the rhythm, get the team chemistry. Um, and I think it's gonna be fine. So you know, uh, we we good, we good. I I I don't think Nick's going nowhere. I, I think I think we just got to get healthy. Uh, we will. Time, time every game go by. It's another day that these cats getting more getting getting more healthier. You know what I mean? So as as time tick on, these cats get more healthier. Uh, they start looking forward to ramp, ramp, ramping up their um you know they all season workouts or not all season off the court workout. I think by next week, Bruce Randall will probably be able to do some contact drill. I'm a guesstimate, and I don't know, but um, he might be able to do some contract drill. Mr. Robinson been doing them already, and I think Ananobi thing is just about be patient with it. You know, we know he'll be back. Just be patient with it because you don't want him to go out there and stir up the injury anymore. But I, I think I think it's good, man. Like I said, these cats are gonna be ready to roll, and I think we we will be by the by the playoff time. The most important thing is that we healthy going into the playoffs. I don't, you know, once we get in there, shit can happen. You know what I mean? And um, but we just we gotta, gotta make sure that we healthy going and get getting in once we get to the playoffs. Will we be at that with that all determined? I still think the Knicks went up with the third seed, though. I think I think the Knicks will end up with the third seed. But time down to Mitchell come back next week. I think the Knicks probably to me, I think we'd be in a third spot. And um, like I said, I'm I'm scoreboard watching like crazy nowadays, you know what I mean? Because um right. you know, and I, I think it's important if the Knicks get that third seed. And um, and, and I can see it happening, you know what I mean? Um, and once we get there. I think we'd be fine, man. So we got 13 games left. You know, you know, my goal is to go 19 or four to give me 50 wins. So I think we could win the next four in a row. I think we could beat the Nets tomorrow. I think we could beat the um the Nets. Then we could go out there and who else we got? Let me get that to the next game. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, um, Nets, Pistons. Yeah, right. Uh, Rap- Raptors and um San Antonio. Yeah, and I think I think we could do that damn thing with against some teams. We beat them four teams. That's 45 right there. And by the time we do that, we had be in a third spot. Uh, so, uh, and I, you know, and I'm, and I'm comfortable with that, man. But no matter what we end up, I know we're going to be a dangerous team when we get in the playoffs. You know, and I, that's one thing I, I am booking. So, you know, let's see how it goes. But I'm really hoping these guys um, get back sooner than later. And because they, they, because they're healthy, not sit back sooner because we need them. We want, we don't, I don't want to rush Ananobi back. Don't want to rush Randall back. I ain't trying to rush Mr. Robinson back. Just whenever you can get God to get back, get back. Cause we, I know we're gonna need you guys, and I think it's gonna be on, man. So it's gonna be a fun 13 game shot power. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be tight, man. The race is tight, the east is tight, obviously boss and stuff that done separated they selves. You know what I mean? But from Bucks down, I mean, you know, it, 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 it's anybody is anybody's two or three seed. It really is. Um, and I think the Knicks got a good chance out of anybody to take that two or three seed. Let, let's see how it goes tomorrow. But we just want to get that bounce back game, um, get that game out of our system tomorrow. You know, what I, mean? I know they feel good to be home, though. I know that, you know, they, the Knicks been gone away from home for a full game. They get to sleep in their own beds, get to get their own hometown cooking, get to be like 15 minutes away or a half hour away from the training facility to um, to Broadway. So, so I know their energy going to be excited, you know what I mean? And um, and I know they feeling good about themselves because they, cause the way they played that West Coast trip. So, I don't. I, I, I'm feeling good, just like they should be feeling good. Shot power. I think that was a big, big, a big. I think they made a statement. Shot power to go three and one on that West Coast trip, with 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 the situation that they are in. You know what I mean? Right. So, salute to Tom Thibodeau, coaching the hell out the Knicks, man. Coaching these cats like no other, man. And um, and, and I think he found someone to do some bride things. So uh, let's see how they get it, man. I think tomorrow we go in there and get the you know, matinee game. You know how it is, the matinee, ladies and gentlemen. All right. <laughs> but. I think the Knicks can go out there and prevail tomorrow and get a pop and shot powers. Go in there and get that 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 mat and they went out the way. Then obviously the um the, the magic play at seven o'clock that night. So, but I, I'm glad we back home and salute to the New York Knicks, man, for really going out there, um, doing what you had to do out there, man, and, and keeping us afloat to where we at. Um, Shinzo 219 three point shot shot power. Danny about to break. He need to probably hit two more. Two he needed like he just averaged two three point shots a game. He had break 40 his record by then. He deep like 20. 
20, 22 a tie at 23 a break it. So you probably just got to average like two a game to put it out of misery. That's all. Yeah, he I, he, he might get that next game. <laughs> he, might, he, he might check up about 40 shots. But, you know, we, we'd be fine, man. You know, it, everyone w- wanted the game. I wanted the game. We had a chance of winning the game because it was a very big game um, because it moved us down in the standings. But we just got to, uh, you know, get up, you know, br- brush our pants seats off, uh, re- retie them Timberland boots and get back out there on the court and uh, see what we can do. You know what I mean? And in time, in the next couple of games, I believe we will see uh, all three of our players that we've been, you know, yearning to, you know, pause, yearning to see them come out here uh, and get back on the court and play together. You know what I mean? So, and um, that's all we do. I mean, that's the biggest thing right now, Devine. You know what I mean? And I think in these next four games, uh, I, I, you know, Brooklyn, you got to watch out for Brooklyn. It's a matinee game. They got in. Salute Jerry for saying that information because it is true. They got in late, early this morning. And, um, you know, they probably slept all day. They probably really do too much of anything. Probably was no real practice today. They probably come in a little early tomorrow, 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, ramp it up a little bit, get some talking to from Tom Thibodeau, how he wants to run the offense and stuff like that, and uh, what defensive plays he wants to run against his team in order to win the game. So I'm just, you know, I'm I'm waiting to see what happens tomorrow. I think the Knicks have a very good chance of being uh, uh, Brooklyn. Uh, you know, Brooklyn going to want some revenge. Plus, they uh, we we smacked them, and they they still remember – the 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 New York Knicks chance and they and they're gone the the home away from home for the Knicks over there so they might want to come over here and try to you know shake it up a little bit I seen some stuff I was looking on um a couple of uh Brooklyn Nets uh um uh, YouTube uh commentators and are oh, they amped about this they 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 decimated right now they're not even in the Tennessee but they want to beat the Knicks <laughs> right, 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 you know yeah, what I mean they right. decimated I don't think they about to make the they're not they're not even in the plan but they want to beat the Knicks so we got to just keep our eyes open you know what I mean and keep our head on the swivel and stuff like that like, make sure that does that 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 doesn't happen yeah real talk a a a a uh Willie Cruz, that's a good one. You got me on that one. Man, I'm gonna do a playoff joint. I'm working on a playoff joint for the Knicks. That <clears throat> probably be the next thing you see. Real talk, but um, you know what, man? I tell you one thing about Boston APAP. <clears throat> you could beat teams on any given night because you're playing. You know, like like Boston go up against somebody that night. They got a good team. So, but when you get to the playoffs, with with like you beat a team that night, you never know what happened that next night. They make their adjustments. So Boston killing the damn thing, but sometimes it ain't how you start, it's how you finish. And just like like the Knicks, it ain't how you start, it's how you finish. And and and, and I, I think Boston could go into the playoffs and, and get and it might wind up playing a team with a, a nightmare matchup where they got the side, got the energy. Uh, you never know. You know what I mean? So uh, we'll see how Miami is when Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero and all these guys get back. But um, you know, uh, Boston to me ain't I don't have them like the favorite to win everything. They 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 might be the favorite record wide because they got the best record. But I, I, I'm not. That don't mean nothing to me until they get in, in into but um in between the lines in the playoffs. Let's see what they're gonna do. How how how's poor thing is gonna hold up? Who who got a good who got a good what coach got a good scheme that could might neutralize some of the stuff they do? It's easy to bust somebody but on any given night when you only see them for one night. Then you go home and go to the next team. But when you gotta play somebody seven game series and that other coach gets to make adjustments for the next game and you know it's, it's let's see how boston go i i i'm not I, i'll tell you what i'm not scared of them i, I think i think our team match up against them real well if we if, if everybody come out healthy because I, I don't think there's nobody on that team boston per se to me that can that, to stop julius randall uh, not jason tatum no, they don't have nobody on that team since i've been watching them play the um the knicks Julius Randle gives it to them dudes, man, because they don't got nobody to match up against Julius Randle. And now with the addition of Ananobi, and um, I think that makes it a little different. So I really want to see us go against Boston fully loaded. I'm hoping that game before we close the season out, that our guy be back to play Boston. Um, that that would be a really nice move right there if we could just play them cats. Um, uh, we got let me we got Boston April the 11th and the season over April the 14th. You know, they might not play all they got. They done clinched. They might not play all they got. I'm not sure. But um, I ain't, I ain't scared of them jokers, man. I, 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 we'll see them. Hopefully we get to the Eastern Conference Finals 
and we we'll see who who. But I, I'm I'm confident in these Knicks, these boys, man. Like I said, at the way I've been saying playing basketball this year, Knicks ain't scared of nobody. Like, well, bring them on, you know. Just bring them. On. Just get healthy. That's all I can say. Get healthy. Yeah, I, I, I'm 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 hoping that they do. I hope them and Milwaukee uh, semi clinched in the in in the division. That uh, Milwaukee clinched second and and Boston clinched first, and they don't play the guys because with a run like that, we can we can go on a beat if you know beat Brooklyn, uh, beat Detroit, beat the Raptors, beat San Antonio. You know, have a tough game against OKC, uh, beat Miami, uh, have another tough game against Sacramento, then beat Chicago. If, if the Milwaukee Bucks lay off. We beat Milwaukee Bucks. We beat Chicago again. Hopefully Boston lay off. We beat Boston. We beat Brooklyn. And we beat Chicago. You know what I mean? That's that's uh, 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 12 out of 14 or so. You know, that, that'll put us right into the rankings of, uh, you know, somewhere in that third spot. You know what I mean? So, I mean, we're, we're all things to consider. You know what I mean? You know, the the – the biggest thing is like we all talk about every Nick fan that I talk to on the street that I see that I just got to log on to the to the, to the uh, subscribe uh, to subscribe to us today and stuff like that to come check. I'm waiting to see one of their names pop up tonight. Um, yeah, man. Um, everybody's talking about the health of the Knicks, and that is the big thing. And once we get those things back, it's not a team that you know we're gonna have a uh, a lot of options. You know what I mean? A lot of options. And, um, you know, some players on our team that, you know, you really – now it's going to make it so much easier for DiVincenzo and and Brunson. Uh, Brunson three-point shot has dropped down. Not so much, but dropped down uh, more so when Randall's not on the court now. Randall's not on the court to set him up for that, that uh, set-up uh, shot. Now he has to create his three-point shot. A little different when Randall is uh, drawing the double team and he's kicking it out, and then someone kicks it out again to Brunson and he's wide open. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's a couple of things that with the plays that we are missing, where we, um, our offense, I don't want to say is more stagnant. I'll say more stagnant. It's not slacking, but it is a little bit more sla- uh, stagnant because of the easier shot uh, creation by these plays that are on the court that it creates. OG on the court on the wing, you have to defend him. Randall on the court, you got to defend him. You may have to double team him. I mean, that's going to give a whole lot of open shots to DiVincenzo, which he is missing now. Uh, I don't want to say he's forcing the shots now, but he's shooting way more shots now that Randall and OG is not on the court than when they were on the court. I mean, and it's just, you know, because he has to try to pick up the pace for these guys not being there. So... You know, well, we, we're we're fine. We we didn't went through the rough part of the of this schedule already. Well, all our guys out going eight and eleven. You know, what I mean, it is what it is, man. When we get these guys back, it's easy to say if we get these guys back with eleven games, we could go ten and one. You know, yeah, facts. Um, you know, just for, I I do think um to answer the guys' question, I think especially on our brother Ramos and everybody, I I I I, I guarantee you. These cats will be back before the playoffs get here, so I don't think you have to worry about them cats. Um, you know, getting get the continuity. I think I think, believe it or not, Ananobi and them could play right now. But I just I just believe that because of the competition we about to go go up against, they're not needed. I think right. Tim, I think Tim always say we got enough. That that's it. he right. He they went they went in a month of March without them dudes. Look what they did without them dudes. So Tibbs always like listen. So I do think they don't need to play Ananobi tomorrow. We should be able to beat Brooklyn. I don't think they need to play Ananobi or Mitchell Robinson against the Detroit Pistons. Come on, you know what I mean? We just, you know so and and then now you said when we go out to the to Toronto Raptors, Scotty Barnes out for the season, and we get to see quickly. I think quickly was out. This, he was, he had to leave for personal reasons today. The last last night or today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like we don't know what our day state of mind is right now. So yeah, I I I don't even I don't even think we and obviously then you go out and play Victor Wembyamba and them. And so the next four games, I wouldn't even bring none of them back. You don't need them. But then you know when we get back after the four games, that's when we start playing the heavy hitters because then we got the um OKC okay, right OKC okay, at the Garden. Then we go to Miami. We got the Kings at the Garden. We go to Chicago. We go to the Milwaukee. 
Then we right. Got the, right. Chicago again. Then we go to the Celtics. Then we got the Nets at home. We got the Bulls at home. Um. So and that's it. So our last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Every game we got after the um Spurs game, except for the Nets, they either in the play in or they in the playoffs. So you know, but I, I and that's when I think we're gonna get our boys back, Shop Howard. I think I think most likely the OKC game next Sunday. I, I feel you on that. I, I think they might say, okay, you know what? Let's let's get Robinson back or Ananobi, at least one of them two. Maybe Randall, and that way they can get that one that the last nine games, and that's how they get their rhythm back before they go into the playoffs. And um, and I think if they could do that, then I think they'd be good. Um, so salute to everybody in the chat, man. Superman, Jerry, Nick, one hundred. Salute to you, my man, Alberto, APAP, Coach, Coach was good. Willie Cruz was good. Salute to the chat. That's where it's at, man. Um, yeah. But listen, we in the building today because we got a one o'clock matinee tomorrow. We want to get in here tonight. We got some time, man, and um, that way we don't interfere with nobody else's stream tomorrow. Obviously, you know my man Ron, still Nick fan, got the joint going on at eleven o'clock. So, you know, we just came here tonight, man, on a nice Friday night. I think everybody coming to talk about their party and BS and or whatever, uh, or hanging out with their significant other. Which I don't hear what else. We appreciate y'all. No, no, they, oh. they, they they listening. They listening to us getting getting ready right now. They're like, yeah, Devon, yeah, Sha, yeah, yeah we about right. to go. I'm about to go shake it tonight, but I'm going to listen to y'all. We about to go pop. I'm going to go get some Caso, some Caso de Maso. Cause some castle to my soul, we don't about to bust it down. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. But you know what's interesting, to me, man. Um, you know that what I did notice last night. Um, the, the resiliency of this team is so amazing, man. I mean, it, it was literally them cats could have got blown away early. I mean, you know, even in that at fourth quarter when when they went on that, they they had us up twelve. I, I, I'm, I'm on people that, okay, this thing about to be over. And that thing, you know, Knicks get that shit down to four to two. For about yeah. four points. And I'm like, okay, see, see, and what that's telling me that this is no quit in this team. And that's the type of team you need going to a playoffs when you got a team who don't have no quit in them. And, and, and when you win a seven game series, okay, you lose the first game, no big deal. They got, they don't got no quit in them. And then, you know, like I said, and I think that's going to be the same thing they did last year when they played Cleveland in the first round. I mean, the Knicks team better than they were last year. So, I mean, you know, I'm expecting them to do better things, man. Um, and, you know, if, like I said, our God come back with nine games left, everybody get to get their rhythm right, Knicks going to be good. They're going to be a good problem. Um, uh, it's going to be a hard out for a lot of teams. They're going to be hard to beat the Knicks, man. I just think that we got a lot of got a, got a lot of depth. And, I, I, and we also got two players who can, you know, how would I say, Put you on their back if you need to. You know, if you need Randall to put you on his back or Brunson, one of them cats get hot. Everybody else just watch out. You know, let them do what they do. Uh, um, and and you know, all that good stuff, man. So uh, I'm really excited about what's going on with these team, man. And, I, and I'm still confident in them, man. And that's real talk. Speaking of my brother, there you go, right there. Ron, what's good, my man? Salute, salute. salute. Uh, yes, indeed. Yep, man. But um, yeah, man. Um, we let's go and get a popping, man. We're looking forward to Ron with the with with the, with the show. Ron, really, he doing you his thing. Ron, Ron, you better, Ron, you better get out and get your your coffee or your tea early, man, because we both probably might stop jumping in there at eleven o'clock. It'll right. be eleven forty-seven. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Makes you real talk, man. Get it going. Um, yeah, man. I'm excited about tomorrow. We just win that game tomorrow. Brian Acosta was good, my man. Salute to Brian, my man. Salute, salute, salute to the whole chat. But yeah, yeah, I got you got the the, the CEO, the the Don and Steel Nick fan in the building with us, man. He in the building with us tonight in the chat. So it's my man Ron, man. Ron was good, my brother. But yeah, man, y'all make sure I hit Ron up tomorrow, eleven o'clock, man. Um, Steel Nick fan will be in the building, eleven o'clock, same time, same channel. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> and uh, we gonna get it popping, man. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, man, shop house. Season almost over, ladies and gentlemen. This is crazy. Wow. <laughs> the season wow. is almost over. This is crazy, man. I'm like, just I didn't see it coming that fast. Um, it is. It came and gone, but in in, in a good. It's good though. It came with a good season. Normally, when we were back about three, four, five years ago before Tim got here, we was like, okay, season over. Let's get ready. Um, going to summer league. We used to talk about summer league and everything. But now yeah, who we about to draft, right, who right. we traded, and all that stuff. Yeah, so now we talk about you know how far we could go, and that's a beautiful feeling. 
you know, like I said, man, that's a beautiful feeling, man. We came a long way in the last four years, man. Um, you know, some super tips in the organization, man, uh, and the players as well keep giving us playoff fever. This will be what three playoffs, play up three playoff runs in four years. Um, you can't ask for no more than that. You know what I mean? Um, um thanks, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry, I'm on that too, man. Um, I don't I, it's gonna be a long summer of winning uh, White Falcon. We good, bro, brother. So just good to see you, though, White Falcon. I ain't seen you in a minute, my uh, man. A salute to you, my man, as you coming in. But yeah, it's gonna be a long season this all, so we're gonna be winning. We go, we yeah, we go about to do the damn thing, ladies and gentlemen. Don't count the Knicks out. I'm telling you, it's about more to come. Yeah, I mean, the, we, like every Knicks fan, I'm going to say this a lot, I guess, this this podcast. We all just waiting for them shoes to drop, you know what I mean? So we can lace them up and get out there and get battle ready, you know what I mean? And um, I, 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 I was saying that I, I did want – uh, Randy to come back, but I want Randy to come back April fourth after Miami, because you know them some dirty, you know, yeah, the mother suckers over there. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't want to go. I don't want to go over there and and Randall just accidentally get a uh, uh, sideline tackled by somebody to his shoulder, or whatever. So, but whatever it is, how however it could be, I think we'll be fine. Um, and I think that we have a great chance of winning a lot of games in these next 13 games, um, you know, and these next 13, uh, thir- 14 games, 13, 14. How many games you got left? I keep forgetting. Let me look at it. I'm looking right at it in my face. 13 games left in the season. One, two, three, yeah. 13 games. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah. So I think, I think, I think we could win. A couple of these games here, nine and four. That's what I'm. What am I even? What am I doing? I'm bugging out. Yeah. Um, I think we got a good chance of winning a lot of these games, man. And um, you know, and getting the guys back and having them um uh, on the court in enough time to get them from uh 12, 15 minutes a night, 20 minutes a night to getting back to uh 28, 33, 35 minutes a night. So that's that's the biggest thing that we have to do. And um, you know. OG will be back. I think he'll probably be back first. Then Mitchell Robinson will be soon after him. And then Julius Randle will be around April 4th. You know, I think April 4th will give us enough time. Uh, uh, Four, seven, give him about seven games to get himself back, you know, semi-acclimated. I think his game changes a little bit from um, – Super duper bully ball, but I still think that he makes moves to the basket. I don't think he'll have to be um, so much down to rebound, but he'll still probably be down there rebounding a little bit. Um, I don't want him down there too much because I don't want people falling all over him. You know, I I hate to say it because I say it about you know when we play certain teams. You know, I joke about it, but certain teams do dirty things to the Knicks. And we seen it last year in the playoffs. You know what I mean? How they took out uh, uh, how they took out uh, IQ, how uh, they took out Julius Randle. You know what I mean? And, you know, they do things. Uh, the, the 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 guy from the Cleveland guy, Mitchell, uh, Julius Randle going to dunk the ball. And he throws himself under him when he dunks the ball and flies Julius Randle. That, he meant to do that. That wasn't no uh, play for the ball. That wasn't no uh, active play uh, in in in, uh, in basketball and that like that. That was a dirty play, just like uh you know I don't even talk about the dirty players because I don't. But with that being said, I think Julius Randle evolves his game. Last year, last uh, last year he uh he no not last year before he was more of a mid range shooter and would shoot the three point shot. And I want him to kind of sort of go back to that game where he can play the mid-range game a step, and shoot the three-point shot instead of banging down low. We have some guys that can bang down low. You know, we'll still have uh, OG. We'll still have iHeart. We'll still have the lanes are open up with Julius Randle being out there for DiVincenzo for him getting those uh, essential passes from um, uh, Julius Randle. What I do want from Julius Randle is uh, to not, you know, the first couple of games is going to turn the ball over a lot. Uh, so hopefully he can lessen the turnovers and up his assists. I mean, um, so instead of him being around five assists, let's get him up to eight, nine assists a night with a a, a solid double-double game, uh, 15 and 
and 11 rebounds with seven assists or something like that. Let's get him to almost a triple double every night like he was doing before, uh, so he don't get uh, uh, abused down there in in the in the in the paint. You know I mean, because we do not want him to come back and get hurt. That is the biggest thing that I. That's the biggest. I always mess this word up, but I always get it wrong. Like the crepitation of what um what happened to Randall if he gets hurt coming back. You know what I mean? And then here goes the narrative again about oh Julius Randle can't show up in the playoff. Ah blah blah. The playoff Julius Randle. He's oh he's a bum. We need to trade him. Ah, all this other hoopla that goes around. Yeah, you know, yeah, I know me. I take a different approach when it comes to my Knicks. Man, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Julius Randle going to do the damn thing. He, the cat been doing the damn thing since he's been here. I ain't trying to hear nobody in this chat. Y'all know I only I ain't, been, I ain't been this way in a long time. When Julius Randle come back, he going to be a problem like always. 25, 11, and 5, ladies and gentlemen. NBA All-Star, NBA All-NBA dude. Let's, let's, uh, when Julius Randle get back, he going to do what Julius Randle do. You best believe that. That's an Iron Man. Other than last year and this year, Julius Randle always played basketball. He always played basketball. He's not an injury pone pipe player. Freak accident. Last year, he hit 77 games. He stepped on somebody's ankle. Prior to that, Julius he Randle. He stepped on somebody's ankle. What's, uh, 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 what's that boy name from? Put his foot on there. And that was it. That was he did it intentionally, man. Right, right. yeah, yeah. Anyway, and, I'm sorry. And, about yeah, no, he's that dude, man. We got to start. Listen, man. Ain't too many cats putting up Julius Randle numbers. And on top of that, every top player in the NBA in a five and four and five spot, Julius Randle gives them the business. All of them. Think about this here. Go look at all the dudes that we teams we played this year. Look at Julius Randle numbers against all these guys that we claim to be the KDs and the ADs and the Giannis's. Julius Randle gives them dudes the business all the time. So we got to kind of lighten up and and hope that the brother's solid, ready to go. We need Julius Randle. We need Ananobi. We need Mitchell Robinson. We shouldn't be talking nothing negative about them. What we should be hoping is that we stay healthy and win a fucking ring. Right. What we should be talking about. No more than the right. It shouldn't be hating on Tom Thibodeau. It shouldn't be hating on no Randall. It shouldn't be hating on no Nick right now. The New York Knicks are 41 and 28 with a decimated team. They are good, ladies and gentlemen. And I think they're going to show up in the playoffs and they're going to put some damage in there. If them boys come back, the New York Knicks will be a problem. And you can book that. I don't care about this regular season stuff. Everybody talking about the land, or everybody talking about Boston. Everybody talking about, nah, let's wait till we get in the seven game series and, and, and see what happens. We showed approval last year. We went and gave Cleveland the business of four games to one. Mitchell Robinson shut down their two best players. I mean, they two big players on the front line. Mitchell Robinson shut them down. So what's the, what do you think going to happen this year with an Ananobi and a Precious right. Chill and a Hartenstein and a Mitchell Robinson and a Julius Randle? Man, the Knicks got a dead, a dead, deadly team, man. I'm, numbers don't lie, ladies and gentlemen. The New York Knicks are 41 and 28 with a decimated roster. And they still in the fifth position practically the fourth or fifth position with a team that lost Mitchell Robinson for 40 something games, lost Randall for 19, 20 games, and an for Dan in 20 games, and they still right there. So what's gonna happen when all the cats come back? You best believe they're coming back. And they're gonna come back. The Knicks are gonna be ready. So let me tell y'all now, jump on the jump on the wagon while the wagon's still rolling. <laughs> jump on the wagon. Get, listen, you, you, you get off the hey, when, hey soon the train leave the terminal. I don't want to hear anybody in the, oh man, this, no. Yep, you better get on the train now, because when the Knicks get to the Eastern Conference Finals, I'm going to be like, I told y'all so. Let's not kid yourself. Tom Tiddle got these boys playing good basketball. We got a good team all the way around. We got to go in there tomorrow, get the Nets, bust their butt tomorrow, get them out of here, and go get the Detroit out of here. Go to Toronto, get quickly them out of here, then go down there to San Antonio and get the boys out of here, and then by then, let the games begin, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just, I'm just venting because I'm telling y'all, we got it. We got. We we need the pot of energy for our New York Knicks, man. These these cats. We they earned that. They earned the right to have our respect from a fan base this year. You might not agree with what they did a couple of years ago, and I still disagree with that. You know, took a team from four, twenty-one wins to forty-one wins. Took a team from first round to second round. Now they about to take a team from the second round to the third round, possibly the NBA Finals. It's there's different levels to it. And the Knicks take a level. First round, they made it. Second round, they made it. Now he got a better roster, better players. 
third round he's gonna go there. So we got a jump on this thing, man. You know, and then we'll see how you know, shop how we'll see how the season go. And then in the summertime, they'll see what they're gonna do. They might either they might go get another player, or they might say we like the roster that we have. Let's and bring everybody back. Everybody back. Hopefully they stay healthy. But best believe me, this organization, if you are a Knicks fan, long we've been in the game, this is the best I've seen the Knicks and Danny in 30, 40 years. Literally. Structure wise, talent wise, draft pick wise, front office wise, player wise. Man, this team is legit, yo. We're born out. We said that at the beginning of the season. And if they wouldn't have got hurt, it, it might have been Knicks and Boston at, at that one spot right now. You never know. You do think how many games we would have won if, if Randall, Ananobi, and Mitchell Robinson would have went down? How, you think how many games we would have won? How many we wouldn't have lost? Shot powers, you know what I mean? So let's ride with our boys, man. Let's jump on this wagon, ladies and gentlemen. The train gonna leave Grand Central Station. <laughs> I want to yeah. for real. <laughs> we, we we definitely be fifty wins already. But I, I believe is it, it will be, you know, we will already be fifty games already. That was um nine and eleven or eight and eleven games that we haven't played with these guys. About uh about um nineteen games or so, twenty games or so. And I and I I'm almost, you know, just you know, I'm I'm talking from a Nick fan point of view. Out of those twenty games, I believe we could have won at least. 14 of them and wow. I, I i you know what i mean at least 14 of them you know what i mean 14 out of 20 you know what i mean so those 14 games with, with what we have right now uh 41 that'd be 55 55 we'd be we'd probably be better than boston right now yeah here you go right just for to let y'all see what's going on that's why i told y'all this thing ain't over right now ladies and gentlemen at the end of the third quarter timberwolves up by six on the cavalier that could change and 10 minutes into the fourth quarter, the, the Pelican got the heat by 16. Let's hope that stands that way. And then at the end of the night, you got the Pacers and the Warriors, and you got the 76ers and the Lakers. So I say all that to say right here, um, if the Cavaliers lose the night, 43 and 27. We win tomorrow, 42 and 28. One game behind them. Check it out now. One game. And tomorrow, and this is why this is important. One, I'm about to throw it up there. Let's and, and knowing that the the the, um, the Kings and that Magic tough game. Magic's damn good at home, but the Kings just came off a loss, and they done fell to the eighth in the in the West in, in the play-in. They don't want to be there, so you know they're gonna come out with their eight game tomorrow. And though the Knicks win, hopefully the Magic lose, we'll be at one game behind Cleveland. And here go the caveat, ladies and gentlemen, right here, Sunday. Heat and Cavaliers in Miami. There you go, right there. Heat and that game right there. Lose that game. The Knicks is in the third spot. Tie for third. And that same night, you got Bucks and Thunder. Bucks and Thunder that night. So this thing is, man, it's wide open. And you got the Lakers and the Pacers, Clippers and the Sixers. Oh, we, the Knicks win their next four games are pretty much going to be out of reach for a lot of. We, I think we had a six seed locked up for sure, and then um, we so we just got to keep playing, and you know, so the Hornets they win that game, Cleveland obviously, but I think the Knicks is in the prime position, ladies and gentlemen, and you got the Kings and the Sixers in 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 Sacramento that could be an L for the Sixers, Heat and Warriors that could be an L for them. Um, you know, Bucks and Lakers, depending if Giannis is not bad, they're not. That could be a, a, a L for the Bucks, even though they playing in Milwaukee. The Lakers could beat them with LeBron and them. They bring their they game together that night. So, like, I, and I'm looking at all this stuff like, man, listen, this shit is just starting to get fun. Let me tell you, it's just starting to get fun. And this playoff is going to heat up big time. And I think the New York Knicks will be in the thick of this thing. And we just got to let these cats, the Knicks just got to win games, ladies and gentlemen. Win their game and don't worry about everybody else. And I, like I said, that three seed is there for the taking shot powers. And I like the way this thing lining up. So I'm hoping that these cats can um, everything line up the way we're talking about it. You never know. This would be sitting right there. Um, Tim Woods, 10 minutes into the game, Tim Woods, 80 to 70 on the Cavaliers right now. Um, and that's just starting the fourth quarter. So if they can win that game tonight against the Cavaliers, the Cavaliers got 27 losses. It's that simple. You know what I mean? We just got to win our games, man. That's why I thought that West Coast trip was so important, shot power to go three and one. Um, the keepers in contention with Cavaliers, and obviously next week they get Dante Mitchell back when they get him back. But by then we be getting our boys back too. 
So, you know, let's let's go at it. Let's get it. Let's let's ride. Let's ride with this day, man. It's gonna be an interesting week, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be an interesting week. And I'm hoping that the Knicks can um go out there and win their next four games. Let Cleveland lose a couple of take a couple of L's here and there. Hopefully the Magic can take a couple of L's. But I think after tonight, um, we definitely it, it definitely looks good for us, man. But some of these teams can take the L's that I think are gonna take L's tonight. Um and, and I think that might be the case. So let's see how it goes, man. I'm excited about it. But let's we guys we just gotta know to get these injuries out the way. Um, and let them come back healthy and take it from there. But I think by the nine, the nine games left, shot I think they, some of these guys will be back for sure. Oh, there's no question, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm saying these guys are going to come back on home games, and I, I was hoping that we could maybe possibly see an OG or something like that. But you bring up a great point, what you said in the, in the, um, uh, you know, in your segment that you just talked about that we really don't need to see OG Mitchell or Randall in these next four games. I think we have enough to win these next four games. And I mean, and I think the next time that we may see someone come back, or if we have someone come back on the road uh, when we at San Antonio, I think they'll be, be, you know, they'll, you know, we may see Mitchell Robinson come back on the uh, 20, what's that, the 29th uh, to, to get ready for OKC on, on March 31st, the end of the month. Because I think um, everybody should be back by April 4th. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the last case scenario, if anything, I hope that if if Mitch, if uh, Julius Randle is the last shooter drop, I hope that he is at least back by the Chicago game on April on April 9th. That is the last at least four games back on the court. You know what I mean? To get, you know, semi acclimated before the end of the season. You know what I mean? If he is the last person, which I believe they're going to hold him out the longest because his injury is the worst. Um, you know, I will see Mitchell Robinson and we'll see OG hopefully in the next week, 10 days the most. By the time either be, I'm, I, I wanted to see Mitch come back over this weekend, but. Like I was saying a couple of streams ago, we wasn't hearing much about Mitchell Robinson and uh, taking contact and stuff like that. Now we're hearing he's taking contact, full contact, full workout. So after the workout, they had to see how he was, if there was any swelling, inflammation, uh, how 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 do you uh, come back after that practice and come back in the next day and see um, could he ramp it up the same way and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it's still um, – you know, maybe a couple of games or a couple of practices that they need before they can say, okay, Mitch, if you're feeling good, we think you're looking good, get back out there. Uh, once he comes back, OG is not on no, no. I mean, he is on a restriction, but I just think the, the inflammation in his elbow is probably already down. This is not like, um, you know, 1984, 1985 with an a inflamed elbow, you'd be out three weeks. You know what I mean? With an infla inflamed elbow nowadays, with with all the new heating and and therapeutic stuff that they do and uh, the cortisone shot the new style of cortisone shots that they use now with these uh stem you know all this other new technology that the New York Knicks have because they have the the best uh, medical staffing in New York um you know OG is probably ready to play tomorrow but probably more than likely will not play until after these next he may come back uh the Raptors game. He may come back on that Raptors trip. And I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he comes back on the Raptors game. And I mean, he'll be he should be ready for that Raptors game. I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. I tell you what, you know, it's, it's just a matter of time, man. We just got to be patient. Patience is a virtual. Just be patient. But like right now, um 7 minutes left in the game, the Pelicans beating the Heat by 20. And the Timberwolves got the Cavaliers by 11 with 8.35 to go. Um, so let's hope that these two guys win. I just want the Cavaliers to lose tonight. I, I'm on this shit here. <laughs> so, but, yeah, man, that'd be a good look for the Knicks. Um, and, and we going tomorrow feeling good, know that we we, we we picked up – we'll be able to pick up that half a game that we lost the past night up on some of these teams and get to pick up that game tomorrow if we, we, if we win. So – um, I, I just think we just gotta stay in tune, stay locked in, man. But um, these dudes will be back, man. I like what um Jerry Fritz said. Jerry Fritz said um he thinks Mitch goes against the Pistons, OG against the Raptors. I admit, right. I'm pretty, uh, I'm hoping, that's I'm what hoping, I'm hoping for too, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, I'm that's what I'm hoping too. I'm hoping Mitch can ramp it up and come back on a less. I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, the, diminish 
uh, uh, Detroit, but on a lesser team, it'll be easier for Mitch to come back because it'll be almost like playing against the, the practice team for the Knicks, if that makes any sense. And yeah. I think I just said I think OG will be back for that Raptors game. I think his the swelling of the arm is probably already down. They already hit him with the uh, the double the double uh, XO treatments on his arm. The um, the, the 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 it's like a I, they don't call it a nebulizer, but it's like a um it's this thing that you they put on the arm that pulsates and then it rubs and then it heats up, then it cools and then it stimulates. You know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure they they, they he already is using all of that to bring down the inflammation and to take the 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 um extra fluid off the elbow from the information. And I'm pretty sure he's already – he probably wants to play tomorrow, but they probably won't bring him back until we go to the Raptors. And I think that he will be back on the Raptors game. And I hope that Mitchell Robinson would be back on the Detroit game because that would be two guys that would bring us back and would can can hold us over to uh, Julius Randle comes back. Mm-hmm. Take away. Right. I tell you, um, what's interesting to me, um, Cause they did that. Uh, Ananobi and Mitch definitely not playing tomorrow. That's for sure. They they get listed them as out. So um, then we go into that game with that Monday shop house. I think that next at the game will be Monday. Yeah, that's Detroit. Detroit Monday. Um, yeah, Nets tomorrow. You got the Detroit Pistons Monday, right? So yeah, I think you see one of them. Hopefully, you see one of them guys come back, man. Um, and the twenty seven four, the twenty seven four, the the Raptors. That's when I think OG comes back. Mm-hmm. He should be all right by now. Yep, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man. So we just got to tread water, keep treading water. Uh, and, and, and my man, Nick 100 GM, man, you know, he, I, I would love to have Herbert Jones too, but I think they're going to get that man some money. I think they're going to keep Herbert Jones. And I, that, that kid came a long way in the last couple of years. Defense specialist. I'm going to tell you, I, I'll think about a guy, Shy Powers. If they don't go out there and make a big move, but somebody, I would, if you lose Bob Donald, you know, I would mind for the Knicks bringing over here just so I think. Um, Deion, what's the name? Um, what's the cat from Atlanta? DeAndre Hunter. Mm-hmm. I, I think he'd be a typical type of player. I, I, I even with that contract he got, I wouldn't be opposed to them getting DeAndre Hunter to come off the bench behind Ananobi and them. That'd be pr- pretty impressive too. So, but I think I think we're gonna be no matter what the Knicks do. I think they, they got a good shot of being real good next year. Um, and let's hope that they can um and continue just to keep getting better. They like, just gotta keep getting better. Um, you ain't seen the best of this team yet, but you will see the same. The team you've seen 15 and two with Ananobi, you see that team in the playoffs with um, Mitchell Robinson and Julius Randle. Let's, let's do it. You know, I mean? let's just go. Let's go, man. Um, yeah, any team. Let's don't get me wrong. This is going to lose in the first round if something don't go right. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I just think that they got a lot of firepower there, man. They got a lot of. They got a lot of depth, and you know. And so when Mitchell Robinson come back, like you said against Detroit, play Mitchell Robinson fifteen minutes. 12 minutes, 12 minutes, let him get, get a little uh, acclimated with the second unit. Um, you know, and then, you know, on Monday uh, when they play, I mean, excuse me, but then, they, then they go play um, who they got after that, the Raptors? No, before the Raptors, the Knicks, Knicks got um, Detroit. Detroit, yeah. They, against Detroit, he come back. So let, let him get some minutes in against Detroit. And then when they go out to play the Raptors, you, you, you take it up to 15 minutes. You know what I mean? Right, so, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, just kind of bring them back slowly but surely, you know, um, and and either win there. If the Knicks end up blow out, then you don't got to play them. You know what I mean? Um, and I think a lot of these teams we about to play against, we can put some work in against them. So I, I think it's all working out the way it's supposed to. The Knicks are smart. Sm- this smart organization they got here going on now. These ain't a bunch of just anybody in there. They got some real talent. Um, um, brain, uh, brain trust in New York right now. I mean, these cats are doing their thing, man. And um, let's hope that they just can keep, keep, you know. Reevaluating what the team doing and how they doing it, but I make no mistake about it. Hartenstein, Randall, and Ananobi, Divincenzo, and Brunson, um, McBride, um, Alex Burke, J. Hart, Bogdan, um, Robinson, Fresh Chua. I mean, man, you know they 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 got they got some shit going on. Obviously, got to put John Hart in there because he's gonna be back in the second unit. I meant to say. So you know, um, the Knicks the Knicks Knicks got got a good problem. They got a good problem. They got a lot of talent down there. And they got a lot of depth, and um, and they got two guys because you're gonna need your 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 star to bring you home in the playoff. We got a guy right now, literally to me, that the top top three in the MVP conversation to me, because of, because of what the team been through and what he had to what he what he had to do without Randall, without Ananobi, without Mitchell Robinson, Jalen Brunson kept the Knicks afloat. Cause you know what I mean. 
So, you know, I got him in the top three MVP right now because I don't think there's nobody um, doing what he's doing to keep his team relevant, you know what I mean, at a time when they, when they really need him. He the most viable player on the Knicks, period. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let's hope that, um, you know, he, you know when these guys come back, they fit right in with him. It's going to be pretty fun, man. It's going to be one of the better players we had in years, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a fun playoff run for the Knicks. Let's hope that they can um, weather the storm and get back at it, man. And like I said, um, like Randall, I'm not worried about Randall. Randall Randall's a worker, man. He's been a worker his whole career. Ran the first game he ever came in the NBA, first game of his whole NBA career, breaks his leg. He, he, he's a resilient dude, man. And under the tutelage and the, and, and the mentorship of Kobe Bryant, he's been around winning players. He Randall know how to win. You know what I mean? Knicks was Knicks was irrelevant before Randall got here. Got to the playoffs. You know what I mean? Irrelevant. When I mean irrelevant, irrelevant. Yeah, man took all this upon himself to come here. He wanted to come here. He embraced this thing. And many dart, many darts got thrown at him. He, you know, he still learned how to handle the pressure, got somebody like brunts him around and made him better. Look what they did. Let's come back healthy, Julius Randle. Julius Randle, I know we come back healthy. It's game on in the city, bro. The city's going to be lit. It's just going to be lit. That's all I can tell you. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. You talking about Homer. You can triple Homer me, my brother. Or the ball is going to be on up in the joint. I'm going to be dead in there for it. Up in MSG and A play. We going to be up in that joint. This will talk me live and lit up in that piece. This this this, this is going to be a year to remember. Um, you know what I mean? And um, we got we want to hope that this go far. I want to go to I want that championship run. Get me to the Eastern, get me to the finals, and I'm like, okay, if you don't win it, that's right. We come back in another year to win it. They they built they built something special to y'all, man. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad to be a part of to get to see this thing, um, and, and we'll take it from there. But ladies and gentlemen, with five minutes left. It's now a seven point game. Timberwolves 88, Cavaliers 81. I knew the Cavaliers was gonna make a run eventually. Let's hope that um the, the, the Timberwolves the weather the storm. Speaking of the Timberwolves, shop house. Did you see that dunk Anthony ever threw down on John Collins the other day? Yeah, that was oh that was that, that was that was probably the the, oh the my. Best. he got he got two he got two master class plays this year, man. Uh he got that dunk and he got that block. Yeah. Master class. That was that yeah. was some that was some phenomenal stuff. Crazy. This guy jumped so hard to block the shot that he banged his head on the rim before he blocked the shot and that dunk was just uh, n- niggies all in your mouth, man. Right. Iggy, 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 like this, like, Iggy. Yeah, you got to get up. Like that. He had it all in his mid out. Yeah, so, that was great. I was like, I got to ask her that. Shit. When I seen that, Jordan, I was like, every hey, was hell. Uh, I'm like, John Connor, you don't, you don't know what bull. Yeah, he was like, he was like, he was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Take these and you need down. Yeah, yeah, man. Now that was tough. I was, I got to bet the actual the other day that that dunk was like I had to play that shit like eighty times on Twitter. I was like, my man, like I was like that shit is crazy. But yeah, man, yeah, that that was one of the the best dunks of, of the season. You know, to see that dunk, man, he was man, he climbed all up on him, man. That was that was uh impressive. Yeah, it was. It was. He ain't do it against us though. Right. We, oh, we, we shut him down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. And then that same night, my man was named Jalen Johnson dumped on my man nuts all in his face over him. I was like, these boys killing it tonight. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be fun. This is gonna be a sight, man. Um, the NBA man. Four minutes left. They still uh a eight point lead for the. Uh, Cav- I'm a Timberwolves over the Cavaliers. Miami. Hey, let's go Timberwolves. Yeah, yeah, let's go Wolves. Hey. Miami getting beat down. They, get, they lose about 23 to the Pelicans. But I don't even think Brandon ain't going to play because he got hurt last night. Yeah, he did something time. with his leg. Mm-hmm. His leg or something they was talking about. He bought, They had to help him off the, fit, off the court last night. Yep, and the reason why it's important because the Heat 38-31, and 31, they dropped the 38-32. and 32. The Sixers play uh, – Sixers and the Pacers 39 was – Pace of 39 and 31, they play out there against the, the Warriors tonight. They're going to have 32 losses. And the 76 has got the Lakers tonight. They can have 32 losses. You know what I mean? So, and if the Cavaliers lose, like I said, they got 27. So it's a big night in the NBA, man, for us from a standard perspective. Um, we hope yeah, a lot they of people. They took my MB may come back too. Yep. Oh, Jerry Fritz said he out two to three weeks. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's season injury, you might as well say. Yeah, right. He might as well just sit down to the playoffs. Three, three weeks. That's that's yeah. You might as well just sit it out to what you call it. 
Yeah, because the back. So, but that that that's what happened when see, and like 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 Nick Wahunder said, this might be what a nice way that now that Brandon Ingram went down, Trey Troy Trey Murphy the third and um Herb Jones might be killing it tonight. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it may step it up. Yep. Yep. It might step it up, man. That's what we've been doing. Look, look at Diva Tindall since Randall went down. Uh, Tressa the Chua since Ananobi went down. And and Hartenstein since I Emma mean, Robinson went down. McBride since the trade. Everybody just been doing the damn thing. Next man up. And I, and I think that's what's really, really going on, man. So let's hope that we, you know, we can have a good night tonight. I think a lot of teams that we want, if everybody loses, I think lose the night. It, that, that's telling me where it's going to be for real. Because they lose the night and Knicks win tomorrow. I mean, we got a four game lead on anybody from the f- six down to the to the the, the Pacers Heat and se- seven six. Everybody, everybody, everybody. anybody under because we might we might even we might even jump back over Orlando. You know what I mean? They if they take that loss tomorrow and we win the next game and we win the next four, mm-hmm. then yeah, it's game on. We we off and running. Well, and I mean, we win the next four. We definitely, we we definitely probably. Hey, I'm I'm just hoping, man, that we have both our guys back in these next four games. After the first two home games, I'm hoping that that um, you know, after those first two home games, I'm hope I'm hoping that we get Mitchell Robinson back against Detroit. And I mean, I'm hoping that we get OG back against the Raptors. And I mean, because that'll put us together. That'll put us, you know, that that those two guys on the court can actually probably win in defensive rebounding and and defensive. Uh, uh, and you know, it'll bring us back to under. Uh, I think we're about 13th in defense right now. And I mean that that will that will bring us. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. That's offense. I'm sorry. That's offense. We were like 13th in offense right now. I mean, so it, and that'll make our offense even better, though, because now we limited limited guys to one shot, and, and we're and Mitchell Robinson back on the court. You know, he ain't gonna be doing that much, but I'm hoping that he can get four or five offensive rebounds. That gives us four four or five more e- extra shots. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, yeah, real talk, man. So it's about to go down tomorrow, definitely, man. I, I'm I'm excited about. It. I can't wait. Um, you know, we're gonna hang around for a minute until the, these other games go off and see what happens, but. It's looking pretty good for the Knicks right now, man. So um, uh, let's let's hope this thing end out the way we want to. Timberwolves got an eleven point lead with um three minutes left. Um, I believe the Heat gonna lose that game, one hundred four to seventy eight. That's just an ass whipper right there. So <laughs> that's like, yeah, that that ain't, ain't got to worry about that one. Yeah, and like I said, a nine point lead, um, ninety six to eighty seven. Um, Timberwolves and the Cavaliers with three minutes left. So I'm, I'm hoping that this thing pan out. That just that's the way we want to end the night going into tomorrow. That's that, mm-hmm. man. And when we get a pop, mm-hmm. and um, so other than that, man, you know, that that's a big game for us tonight. And then the biggest game tomorrow, just our game and the Kings and the Magic, everybody else, Bulls and Celtics. And um, yeah, like, like, like Nick 100 said, man, them Bulls, man, them Bulls, they, you ain't gonna want to play them in the, in the playoffs. Um, the Bulls are a scary team, man, and they got a lot of good talent out there. And, um, they, that's without Zach Levine playing, you know what I mean. Kobe White doing a damn thing. Um, so the sumo right. thing, the Rosen, Wutovich, they they playing. They playing some good basketball out there. So they're gonna be a pretty interesting team going into the playoffs, man. And the play, and you ain't gonna want to play them. They 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 got a good team down there. So the Bulls will be very interested to see how when it, when it all go down. So let's hope when with the time we play them, we, it won't even matter. You know what I mean? It won't even matter, man. So, but this will be fun, man. But what do you think about that game tomorrow, man? I, I'm going out on a limb tomorrow. Uh, the New York Knicks, ladies and gentlemen, New York Knicks, one fifteen. The Brooklyn Nets, ninety seven. Yeah, I, I I think that we could pull it together. Even though um they probably like I said they probably rested today, uh and I think that they they knew how they lost the game the last game. So I think they control the pace. I think they get out there and get back to rebounding the basketball. Um, hopefully we could drive the ball a little bit more so we could get to the line a little bit more. We've been slacking. Again, to the basket, we missed one. One of the biggest things why I say we missed Julius Randle is since Julius Randle has uh, not been playing, we I, I, it's been a couple of games. I think we got twenty uh, free throws and stuff like that. But majority of the time, we're uh, seventeen and under. You know, getting to the line, and Julius Randle usually gets to the line about uh, seven to nine times a night. You know I mean, so we're missing those those free throw shooting uh, from Julius Randle. You know, aside from that, um, uh, shoot, we you know get to the free throw line, hit your free throws. I think we have a, a good outing. Uh, we didn't shoot bad. I think we shot about thirty five percent 
three point shot uh, uh, against um against Denver. So we wasn't so bad, but let's shoot over thirty six percent this this game. Um, I got the Knicks um um winning. Uh, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna put the ball in the basket on these guys, man. And uh, I think Brunson's gonna have a really big game. I, I think a lot of our uh, uh, Burks and and uh, Bo, uh, Bodega is thought, You know they looked they decent last game, so I think we could put up uh, 119, and I think we could leave them to 94. 119 to 94. I think we really put a whip. I want them to really put a whipping on them tomorrow. You know what I mean? The show just because we lost that game against uh in my high when we our nose start bleeding after we couldn't breathe no more. Mm-hmm. And we're coming back to uh this good old dirty New York air and then whip up on uh you know the, the Brooklyn crew. Yeah, yeah, yes indeed. Yeah, well, you know what, man? So far, so good. Like I said, I got 115.97 right now with two minutes. 25 seconds left, 99 to 87. Tim was by 12. Like we're gonna, they should be able to hold on to that. If they let them boy come back with 12 down in two minutes, that's on them. But um, Miami, that pretty much is a wrap. 111 to 88 so far with 10 seconds left. So um, everything panning out the way so far where I expected tonight, man. I'm really excited about that. So, like I said, Warriors and Pacers, Lakers and um, 76 is both of them on the West Coast. Um, the, the, the I'm gonna try to find those games tonight. Yeah, yeah, man, that that that's gonna be big right there. So, um, the good, 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 good day for the Knicks from a from a from a divisional and position standpoint. The, um, the game is over, ladies and gentlemen, and Pelicans at Heat, one eleven eighty eight, one hundred one to eighty nine with one minute twenty six seconds left. Cavaliers will now have twenty seven losses, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, let's keep it one hundred. The forty there be forty three and twenty seven. We win them all. We be forty two and twenty eight. That's all I need to say about that. You know what I mean? Because now they they'll be we'll be about a game and a half behind them. We win tomorrow. We after tomorrow we win. We we a game behind them. Cast. They got like I said. They got a tough game against Miami. Now Miami lost tonight. So you know they're gonna be looking to be looking to bounce back on Wednesday. I mean on Sunday. So at the Cavaliers, I don't know. They Miami got enough to be to beat them guys, but. We'll see, but so far so good. Good look tonight, man. Um, that's what that's the way the NBA is, man. You, that's why we scoreboard watching all that stuff just to see how this thing go down. And so far tonight, what's been definitely a, a big Nick night tonight. Everybody that that's either behind us or in front of us, except for the Celtics, beat the Pistons by twenty seven. Thunder beat the Raptors. So the main game that I'm looking at is um. The Cavalier game and the, and the Heat game and the, the Sixers and the Warriors and all that. Yo, peace of the God. Salute, salute. Peace of the God. A lot wide. Jerry, Nick, Nick fan. Let's go. D Ross, my man. Salute to the chat. AP, White Falcon, Nick 100, Jim. Everybody, salute to the chat. I know it's a slow night, man. Y'all hit them thumbs up for your boys, man. We kind of just um, we freestyling right now because, like I said, the game tomorrow. So we just want to come on tonight just to, to you know get a little energy. Hey, Jerry, man, I'm with you on, on, on one thing, though. Jerry Fritz talking about that sickest, that second seed. Jerry, I'm riding with you, my man. I'm telling you, I'm riding with you on that second seed thing. Uh, I, I would love to see that happen, man. Um, so, so what, what's what's going on for the Bucks? The Bucks, in order for us to get to them, when their their game is Sunday, I think it is. They don't play until Sunday, and the Bucks has the Thunder. Even though they they in Milwaukee, but they got the Thunder. Man, that's crazy. Cash out, my man. Salute, salute. Cash out. What's good, my brother? Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, as it is right now, um, the Knicks did what they had. The Knicks doing what they had to do NBA wise. One minute left. Cavaliers um, down by ten. That should be a wrap. A Warriors game just started. The pace is two two. Um, Michelle Powell, man, no tomorrow we just got to go out there and put that that nugget game, that nugget loss behind us. Go out there and just you know go out and do what we got to do. You know what I mean? And hopefully we you know we 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 rebound much better. Um, we we shoot the ball now. We got to remember. You know, when you're on your home court, you shoot much better than you do on the road. But I'm expecting Nick to light it up tomorrow. From um, um, tomorrow, I think Shindo might hit six threes tomorrow. Get him close, to, you know. That's what I'm saying. Right, they, you know, you pretty, you pretty good. Yeah, everybody gonna snap back a little bit. Snap back into. I think they rested all day today. They ain't do no, no, no uh, preliminaries or nothing like that. Maybe um, you know, you know, we may. Let me see how many games. I don't even want to look at it now, but um. Um, I think, like I said, I'm hoping that we could get Mitch back in that Detroit game and we could get OG back in that Raptors game. That's that's what I want to see. Those two guys 
uh, uh, could help us to continue to win these games that we need to win coming down the stretch until about April 4th when uh, I think Julius Randle will be back. Yeah, a cash out tomorrow. The Magic got the Kings. Tough game. Kings coming off of L. They done dropped down to eighth in the West. Well, they, they don't want to be in that play. And so they got the Kings tomorrow cash out. The, um, the Magic, that's a winnable game for the Kings. Magic played good at home. But I, I do think with some bonus and, and swiping them guys, and um, they got they got enough firepower to, to beat the Magic. But the Magic defense has been special. So um, then the next game they got, um, they played Monday. I, I think the Magic played Monday. And they have uh, – no, actually, they don't play Monday, do they? No, they don't play until Tuesday. They have – damn, they are for a while. Oh, they got the Warriors Wednesday um, cash out. They got the Magic, got the Warriors Wednesday. And then Friday, Magic got the Clippers. See what I'm saying? <laughs> they got the Clippers. So, this, like I said, I, I, I ain't worried about too much of this here, man. And they, these were the Knicks. And then they got the Grizzlies. That's probably going to be a win for them. Um, so, you know, they they got they, they don't got it too easy. I don't think got the Trailblazers on the first. They probably win that one. But I think by then – I, I think the Knicks should be pretty much in a good spot, um, cash out. But they got a tough of cup game coming up. So our, our schedule is a little easier than the next four games. So I, that's why I do think that we wind up being in that third seed. And um, that's that. Um, Timberwolves 104 to 191, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. It is um, absolutely a good thing tonight. Cavaliers lost, Heat lost, Warriors already beating the Pacers by five. So it's all good, man. Um, but yeah, shot pot. I'm looking. I'm looking for the Knicks to go out there tomorrow and just just get it popping, man. Like I said, you can't never sleep on a team like Detroit. They they ain't playing for nothing. Um, you know what I mean? Um, uh, they ain't playing for nothing. So they they gonna go out there and give it their best. They don't got nothing to lose. And you got the old Knicks coming back in the building. Quentin Grimes will be back in the building tomorrow. Fournier will be back in the building tomorrow. So you know, but um, it don't matter. We still gonna spank them though. But anyway, <laughs> we gonna spank them, man. And um, all that good stuff, man. But um, listen, man, we're gonna get out of here, man. We just want to get in tonight and um, just kind of you know talk about the game tomorrow and just tree style with you guys and all that good stuff, man. Because like I said, we won't be on tomorrow pregame. But y'all make sure y'all hit up Ron. Ron will be in the building at eleven o'clock. Um, and all that good stuff, man. And I see how my day go. Um, and I might hop on it with Ron and um, and if he open it up and everything like that. But other than that, man, let's go, Nick, man. Good night tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Good night tonight. We are we first a game and a half out of that joint, man. Um, Jerry, Jerry, I smell that two seed, Jerry. I'm telling you, I smell it, bro, for real. That shit is in grabs. So we got to make sure we get out there, reach and grab it, too. Don't take that for granted. Let's get that second seed. If we get the second or third, then it's all good. But Bucks of Thunder, son, they're going to be a good game. I'm going to check that out. But shop, how how at your boy, man. I know you ready to take it down. You had a long day like me, so. Yeah. I- uh, salute to you, Divine, as always. Salute to the chat. That's where it's at. Um, let's get this win tomorrow, man. New York Knicks. Let's get this win, man. Let's get the, let's start this, uh, this, uh, four, five, six game winning streak going on in full effect. Let's get it. Yeah. Real talk. Yo, salute to everybody in the chat, man. Um, thank y'all for coming in tonight, man. Jerry Cash out, Johnny Davis, my man, Matt, Nick fan. Let's go AP, the God piece of law live. Everybody let's do it, man. Knicks tomorrow, man. I got 1997. Um, D Ross, my man, everybody. I don't want to leave nobody out tonight, man. Nick 100, appreciate you coming in. Raymond Bentley, my brother, White Falcon. I can see you in a while, but glad to see you as well. Just a salute to everybody, man. Shout power. See the brother tomorrow. Man, y'all enjoy the game, man. And we'll see you cast Monday. Monday, Nick's in Detroit, man. Um, you know, at the World World Famous Arena. We'll be in the same time, same real time, same real channel. Salute to the chat, man. Y'all have a good night, man. Peace. 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 <laughs>
top of this world taller high We go alive on a televised The orange blue sky for we On that Friday night we mix it with our mixes to do Lift the altar trip That's that nigga orange and blue I thought you knew it's the brand You understand how we do my man We stand on business This real talk brand You know we in the weed In the streets of Manhattan People in the action Even the people we acting Leaving up to nicks and he getting it cracked Cause it's game time We in the world more famous We're seeing the nicks lock your team up I be struggling just like a subpoena You know the nicks fan We feeling real giddy and litty New York City, gritty committed to beat the city by 50. We're well, about to get me a nice sight with a smart quarter on ice. Both of you bucks in the quarter to pay the order with my smart to the right. We got Gotham getting it popping in the Apple Rock. Rip the home, let the pot and stop it on the Apple Rock. It's Dick's Real Talk, the team streaming on YouTube.com. We got two dudes doing good moves spot on, dropping the bomb. From the cop, we got a spot to drop to some of the hottest. Big content that's up in your head, and I'm saying, you know, upstairs, leaving the guard after they've got me back. Most like a cab if I back to the triangle jet lag. Nick's real talk right here, I'm representing with my peoples right here. We are. Nick's real talk right here, I'm representing with my peoples right here. We are. Next real talk right here, I'm representing with my peoples right here. We are.